What's up everyone, welcome to Scholarship Hive. My name is Ali and in this video I'll be talking about the OECD Paris Paid Internship. This is an amazing opportunity for the students who want internship in Paris. So I'm going to tell you about the features of this internship and also step by step application on how to apply. So to avail this opportunity please watch the video till the end. And without further ado, let's begin. So Scholarship Hive again is here to present the best opportunity that is the OECD Paris Paid Internship. Not only that it's a fully funded internship, it is also a paid internship. You will be getting a monthly allowance for this internship to cover up all your expenses. You just need to be a student of any university related to the provided fields of the OECD Paris Internship program. If you're a student at a university and you have a subject related to the provided fields of this internship, then you can apply for this and you shouldn't worry about the visa procedures the OECD team will help you out in the application processing there are a large number of fields available for internship programs and you will learn about a large number of different areas during this internship this internship is in total of 30 days and you will need to be available for all these 30 days you cannot skip this and you should also have enrollment proof that you are already a student of any university the best thing about the OECD internship program is you can apply many times if you're not selected this year so if you get rejected it's okay don't be disheartened you can apply again and again international applications from all over the world can apply you're eligible if you're a master's student a doctoral program student or a student of an undergraduate bachelor's degree it doesn't matter so let me just tell you the brief details of this internship that the location is obviously Paris the number of internships offered are 500 and the duration is 30 days or one month so the different areas in this internship that you can apply for is human resources legal services finance budget accounting etc you can read all of this if your field is related to this then you can easily apply for this internship you can also check their website if they've added more so the fields are elaborated into different divisions if your subject is related to climate gender and diversity development employment etc you can read all of this and select the one that suits your degree so the main benefits of this internship is that a total stipend of 700 euros for the coverage of living expenses of the internee so as i said your living expenses will be accommodated they will give you a stipend of 700 euros and again don't worry about the visa application you will be assisted by the oecd paris team so let's come to the eligibility criteria that is really important to know students from all over the world can apply for this program applicants who are already studying in a field related to this internship are eligible to apply you have to carefully select your field because if it's not related to the field you're studying or you're already in then you are not eligible to apply you should be proficient in english and french language you should have excellent communication skills with others and you have to be at least available for 30 days again you cannot skip any of these days otherwise you will not be accepted so the required documents for this internship is you need a valid international passport so when you're filling the application you have to be a student of a university and present the proof of your enrollment there you're going to also provide the health insurance that you have there is no particular deadline for now i mean you can check the website again and again the official link of this website because the date might appear any time but for now it is just open so make sure you just go there and apply so right now I'm on scholarship hives website where they've written the blog about this internship so uh, we can click the official website and see what's it about but for now in this video I'm gonna tell you and how to apply for this internship so let's do that so the OECD will be asking you username password if you don't already have an account so you're gonna obviously make a new account and if you've already have an account so you can put your username and password here you can sign in with Google Yahoo or your LinkedIn so this is the form for the OECD internship in Paris there are total eight steps you have to upload your resume your disqualification questions they're gonna ask you your personal information qualification etc we're gonna i'm gonna take you step by step and help you fill all of these so in the first step you have to upload your resume you can upload it by importing uh, your data from a third party app or you can also select no thanks i will fill out the online submission manually through this so you can pick any of this so i would suggest that you should have your own cv and you should upload that here as that will help you or if you don't have that if you don't have a third party app to uh, download your information from a profile then you can click this so whatever suits you do that and then press save and continue then the second step is there i'm going to ask you disqualification questions which means if you click no then you're not eligible for this so are you available for a minimum internship duration of one month 30 days you have to select yes because if 
no, then why are you even applying? Because you're not going to be eligible. So just confirm this by selecting yes. And in the second point, they're asking that are you already in part of a university? You're doing a proper bachelor, master, or PhD right now. You're currently a student. And if you can provide with that enrollment proof, etc., then just select the yes and then save and continue. So the fields that have red asterisk with them, they're mandatory to fill. You cannot skip them, but the field that doesn't have the star, you can skip that. So put in your name, your contact details, put in the country that you're a resident of, not the country that you were born in. Put in the postal code of that place, the city that you live in, your street address, put in your preferred phone number, your email address, use the email address that you already signed in through this, fill your date of birth, the gender. So now the country of birth where you were born, if you were born in US or France, then you have to put the state that you're born in as well. Put in the city that you were born in, put in your civil status. If you're single, then you can leave this. But if you're either divorced, married, widowed, etc., then put in the day the month and the year that that happened if you have an oecd citizenship or other citizenships etc you will put that here select not applicable if you're not a citizen of this enter your nationality if you're not a citizen of the oecd member country you can search if you're applicable as well because every student will be different but if it's not applicable at all then you're going to put in not applicable put in your native language put in how proficient you are in english your level of proficiency in french if you're fluent in other languages you can put that here if you have a close family member in the OECD family right now, then you can put that here. If no, then click no and skip these two. So now this is the part where you're going to put in the internship that you're interested in. You can select from all of these. Select the one that is relevant to your field. And your choices are important too. So the first choice must be the ones that you want the most. And then second and third. And you can select the preferred internship duration. One month at least is necessary, but it can be up to six months. Remember, it's a paid internship. You will be giving stipends. So do not worry about that. So the date of your availability ability you're gonna put the day and month and the year of that and also select how did you hear about this once you're done with all of that press save and continue then the fourth step is the qualification that you're gonna put so if you're in a bachelor's degree you're gonna just put in one education but if you're in a master's degree you're gonna put in you're gonna press the add education and put two if you're for example in a master's program right you're gonna first put in the latest one that you're in which is the master's and then you're gonna put in the bachelor's if you're doing PhD then put PhD first then put the master's and then the bachelor's you should start from the latest and then go beneath so put in the date that you started that education at and put in the expected graduation day and year put in the education level if you're doing a bachelor's degree a master a technical diploma whatever you're doing put that then put in the program that you're doing this in for example bba etc put in the institution that you did that from put in the location of the institution and if you have more educations so if you have more educations then you can press add education if you're for example doing just bachelor's then just Put in one education and then save and continue so in the fifth step of this application they're going to ask you about your work experience again you have to start with the most recent one that work experience can be a job it can be an internship or any sort of that put in the start date and the end date of that if you're currently in that job then click here if not then put in that date what kind of a job is that put in that here put in your employer status here put in the location the sector that you were working in talk about your achievements there and you should talk good as things like these help you in getting selected this is not mandatory but you can fill this if you have the certificates or the license if you have more work experience then keep adding here but put in the latest first press save and continue then the sixth step is putting in the references so you have to put in two references the reference that you want to put first should be the reference that is most relevant to you and the one that is in your contact preference these references should be individuals that are familiar with your work capabilities and your educational training so put in the names of these references their email address address their title and the relationship that they have with you if they're your professor employer etc you can add more references too otherwise just save and continue then the seventh step of this process is your skills and pre-screening questions so in the first one they ask you about your skills in the microsoft powerpoint how good you're in that 
if you're just a beginner student you can click that if you're kind of good intermediate advanced as an expert then they ask you about the experience how long have you been doing that the last time you used this and how interested you are so you're going to fill all of this honestly for microsoft powerpoint for outlook for your excel microsoft word you're going to fill that for your english drafting skills for your french drafting skills and once you're done with all of that the last step is to writing the cover letter now guys this cover letter is really important as it will be a huge factor in deciding whether they should give you an internship or not. The purpose of the cover letter is to gain an insight of the reasons why you would like to be an internee here and how can you contribute to their work and understand in what way an internship at the OECD would help you achieve your career goals. Your letter should not exceed 3500 words including spaces. You're gonna write that letter here and this letter will be really helpful in getting you selected. Once you've done that save and continue. So you're actually done with the application the step 8 is basically just reviewing so you should go through your form and and review each and everything and once you're done with all of the review you're gonna press submit wait for their response and i hope you're gonna get selected if you don't get selected it's fine you can apply again and again i hope this video helped you understand about this internship and how to apply thank you so much for watching this video make sure you like this video subscribe to our youtube channel take care of yourself and see you next time